Yo, it's a beautiful mother day out here in Bangkok, Thailand. Come with me, let's go for a walk. So I got off at Ekamai BTS station and I'm walking down on the Sky Track, Skywalk, under the BTS train. We'll be walking along Sukhumvit Road towards the Prong Pong and Sok area to see what kind of action I can see out here on Sukhumvit Road. So uh, when you guys come here, remember, the number one main attraction for me in Bangkok is taking your boys, taking your woman, and walking up and down Sukhumvit Road. It's a great time. I love the SkyTrack area and I kept walking and now I'm on like a little shopping area. I forget by the Ekamai BTS station, there's a, right over there in the distance, there's a SkyTrack and then it connects over here to some gym that I personally have not been to. I pass by, but it's just uh, too too busy for me. I'm not, I'm kind of, I don't know, I can't, I can't deal with super busy gyms if I have to wait for machines or equipment and stuff like that. But I wanted to stop by here and see and show you guys this little beautiful shrine here. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. They got little zebras and little elephants too. Oh my goodness, right next to it. Wow, wow, so okay. So I gotta keep walking this way, right? And then I'm gonna be able to find like some stairs and then that way I can walk down and then hit Sukhumvit Road right next to the McDonald's. So just keep that in mind if you're leaving that heck of my BTS station and then taking that little skywalk. So I was just passing by this movie poster and I see a new Lion King movie is coming out, Mufasa. I can't believe they're continuing this little series, that real action animated part, but my friends and family used to say that I laugh like a hyena. I haven't really had a deep belly laugh in a long time, so hopefully I can pull it out for you guys in one of these vlogs, we'll see. So I wanted to show you guys this like, little inside area because I haven't even been this far down. I, I swear they had a different walking area when I took the BTS Skytrack exit. But there's a movie theater up there, little cafe Amazon, little small shopping area all around here. Isn't this nice? And look, there's a McDonald's over there, so now we can go towards the exit. Yeah, last time I was here, they didn't have as much, uh, oh no, I know what it was. They were doing construction, they had a different exit walkway to go through the McDonald's. That's what it was, so it blocked all this off. So it was just construction. So even though it's Friday, it is raining earlier today, and now there's a slight drizzle. So I'm gonna try and take some clips while I'm under the overhang. But whenever it's raining in Bangkok, that's the perfect time to go walking if it's drizzling because, you know, uh, I don't know what it is culturally out here, but in East Asia, rain makes people very, very, like, hysterical. I don't understand, I'm from Florida, so I'm used to the rain, especially being a Trinidadian boy. And we just, it, we're, we're used to rain and we're not used to umbrellas, to be honest with you. So it is kind of a cultural shock to me coming out here to Asia. And then I don't understand what's up with the rain and why it affects people so negatively. But that's just me, personal preference. I'm sorry, my bad. Now, if you guys know why, just let me know in the comments. All right, the rain seems to be subsiding, so I'm gonna try and get as many clips as I can before another little surge happens again. But look, check it out. So walking towards Prong Pong still. Nice, nice condos on my left and right. But I will say, even though these are beautiful places, you guys have to keep in mind, they're in the city center, right? But if you are a retiree, okay, or an expat, or someone, some kind of digital nomad, everyone I have met starts in the city center, or they don't start in the city center at all. Because one, the traffic, two, uh, it, it's the, the city's so connected that you really don't need to stay in the city center if you're trying to network, yeah, honestly. It, it, that's just my personal opinion, so keep that in mind because the prices exponentially go up as you go closer towards the CM city center area. Right behind me is the Intercontinental Hotel in the Ekamai area, right? And it's $200 a night, but honestly, it's a five-star hotel. I don't see the benefit to staying in a hotel that's a five-star hotel that's not close to BTS station. I'm just being honest with you. Because if you have the money and you're gonna stay here, you're gonna wanna take a car or some kind of grab or taxi service to get to wherever you're going, all right? You're not gonna wanna walk from here if you have the money. Just my two cents because I've seen, I stood outside this hotel and I just kind of glanced and seen what kind of clientele they have and it's people that are waiting for rides. So just keep in mind, if you're gonna spend the money and stay at a five-star hotel, you might as well stay within the city center or close to a BTS station, all right? It really doesn't make sense to stay within the Ekamai area unless you're doing business out here. That's just my two cents. So now I'm right under Tong Lor BTS station. Rain has just subsided just slightly and you can see it's a kind of a slightly quiet day out here in Bangkok. The rain really makes people go away, honestly. They wanna stay inside, they don't wanna work, they don't wanna hustle and bustle. So there is a chance of flash floods within the September month. I've noticed personally in Bangkok, specifically uh, September 26th of last year, but I did miss another flood. So just being aware of my personal opinion, the rain really stops mid-October onwards and then you're good for the entire year. So if you're trying to avoid rainy season, that's the best time to come. I said before, I can't reiterate, the number of foreigners has exponentially gone up since last year when I moved to Bangkok until now. I probably didn't help, I might have added on to that, but 
You know, as digital nomads and expats living here in Thailand, we are helping stimulate the economy. So if you guys can, always buy local whenever you're going to a market, whenever you're going to get some food, fancy restaurant, if you can, support the lower income businesses. That's what I like to do. I recommend you do the same. So now I'm between the Tong Lor and Ekamai BTS station. As you can see, the traffic is a little bumping today. It's starting to pick up right around 1600 now. So guys, remember, if you got money and you're coming out here and you want to get a car and you want to stay in the bank car traffic, you're going to sacrifice time. I am in the middle income socioeconomic class, all right? So I do not mind taking public transportation. That's something I wanted to sacrifice when I came from America to here. I do not care about driving a car here, okay? I will rent a car and go drive a car whenever I'm in nature. But in a mega city like this, I value my time and I do not want to stay in traffic. I'm sorry, but I dealt with that in Orlando metro area, all right? So just keep that in mind when you guys come out here. You can save so much more time if you just take public transportation. This dude just walked like six inches right next to me and then he mean mugged me for like three seconds. I'm not sure why, but hey, you gotta be aware of that. The foreigners out here got a chip on their shoulder. I don't know if he's divorced, I don't know who hurt him, but hey, I did nothing to him. I've noticed that throughout my, I wish I got on camera, it's okay. Oh, he's coming behind me. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. Oh, this guy doesn't come after me. Uh-oh. He gave me another mean look when I put the camera down, but what are you gonna do? I'm, one in, I'm in one of the safest cities in the world on the main street, so I feel like I don't have to worry, but I might as well uh, put it on camera. That way, the sun happens. I got footage. Wow. Now, this is some gr nice graffiti I see on an electrical box here in Bangkok, but I've seen better in Bogota. So keep in mind, if you want to see the best graffiti in the world, go to Bogota, Bangkok. It's a little slacking on the graffiti. They take too much care of the infrastructure. They clean it off, they wash it off. So there's not really an underground, underworld scene when it comes to artwork, but there is a scene for the high so art. So keep that in mind, in museums and stuff like that, pieces that go for $10,000. If you want to be a mainstream artist, this is the city to come to. If you want to be something a little more underground, this is not the area, this is not the city. Oh man, I love just being in the traffic. <laughs> so I'm over here by Prom Pong BTS station. I've just arrived. So now I'm gonna go ahead, meet up with Benz. We'll call it a day. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you learned something. Come out here, hit Sukhumvit Road, Sukhumvit Road for yourself. Take care, my friends. Love you. Bye.